Hello everyone and today is all about my single eyeshadows. Most of these are cream. I would say half are cream and then the other half are just singles. I have a whole bin of my single eyeshadows. I recently did a declutter and got rid of a few. Um, that declutter video is up on my channel pretty recently so go ahead and check that out if you want to see like what I got rid of and everything. But I decided since it's the new year and we're about a fourth of the way through I would start back up doing some of my little um, category collection videos. I don't know what to call it because I'm kind of at a point where I'm very, very happy with this part of my collection. And if you want to see like an updated blush collection, I can do that. I want to do a base collection roundup, a bronzer collection, and maybe an eyeshadow palette collection. But I do a lot of eyeshadow videos. So I'm going to go through, I'm going to show you my favorites first and then go through the rest. But I'm going to swatch everything and tell you a little bit about the formula. I'm going to try and keep this video a little bit short because I love single eyeshadows so much. But yeah, feel free to ask any questions if you have any. But first up are my beloved Charlotte Tilbury Iced Mesmerized Cream Eyeshadows. I don't think I've talked about these on my channel that much. I think I talk about them mostly on my Instagram stories because I wear these a lot. These little potted treasures are so good. I could probably get rid of every single eyeshadow palette and just have my Charlotte Tilbury cream eyeshadows and probably be very happy. So these are creams. I have the shade Rose Gold. I have two shades. I would get more in the future, but none of them I don't think I really need right now. So this is Rose Gold. It's not very taupey. It's definitely like pink. You can see in the reflect, it's not super yellowy gold though. I would say it is more of a pink shadow, which I really appreciate. I'm using natural lighting, but it is like the evening time. So I am using some artificial lighting, but yeah, that's what it looks like in real life. It looks a little bit more pink. It has like a bit of a reflect, but this formula doesn't have a ton of sparkle to it. It's just more of like a shine. So it's more, it's more like metallic-y because there are sparkles a little bit in it and it does have a shine but it's not super reflective. I've actually used this shade a decent bit. I got it last year for my birthday which is in July. Also ignore my nail polish but I've used it a decent bit. You get quite a lot. It's like a moussey pot kind of thing and mine is all shoved to the side because I got it shipped. And then the other shade which is so gorgeous and I think overall if you had to pick one I pick this shade. It's the shade Oyster Pearl. I want to say it was previously Marie Antoinette. I'm not sure, but it looks like this in the pot. It is so pretty. You would think it's going to be like too cool toned, but there's like a bit of warmth to it. I don't know how to describe it, but when you put it on the eyes and you actually blend it out, it's so flattering. It's like literally to any eye color. I think if you have green in your eyes though, it's very very pretty and I've swatched all of these on Instagram and in like full sunlight. If you go on like the, I forget, I don't know what the tab is called but I have like a collection of all of my collection swatches and there's a single eyeshadow one if you want to see the color a little bit better but it's so pretty. It's not too cool toned. I wouldn't say it's warm toned though. It's definitely like a neutral taupe kind of color but something about it you wouldn't think it's so flattering but man it's so flattering for every day especially when i have like some eczema on my eyes because these are a cream and they almost look hydrating on the eyes because of that little bit of like metallicness and because they are a cream like they don't look dry on the eyes at all they make the lids look so hydrated and they're so pretty amanda z has a video up and i think she features oyster pearl but it's like her single eyeshadow collection is what I meant to say, but it is so pretty. I wear these all the time on my Instagram stories. I haven't used Oyster Pearl as much because it is a little bit newer compared to Rose Gold, but like these are going to be my go-to, especially for like class or like when I go into the lab, I just need to throw makeup on. I will put a shade in the crease, usually like a neutral brown, and I'll just stick my finger in this pot and wipe it on my eyes, blend it out with a fluffy brush and just go. And these are my favorite single eyeshadows. They're also my favorite creams because of the texture. They're moussey, so you really don't need a lot. 
and they're so incredibly easy to work with. I highly recommend these creams. They are a little bit expensive, but you get a ton of product in here and they're just so good. If I lost these, I would repurchase both of them. And I would love to see like more shades in this formula because it's just so, so good. So these are a definite favorite of mine. And ones that took me a little bit longer to like, and I still don't like as much as my Charlotte Tilbury, but I still really, really love these, are the Auric um, Smoke Reflex. I have all three shades today. I'm actually wearing the shade Defiance, which I will talk about first. This one is a brown. And the only reason I say that I don't like these as much is because the cream part isn't hard to work with, but it's a little bit harder than the Charlotte Tilbury ones. The Charlotte Tilbury are effortless and they don't get patchy at all and they blend out really easily. These ones are more like a jelly mousse kind of consistency. They're still that cream, but they're not as whipped as like the Charlotte Tilbury ones. These are more like a gel and this shade looks like it'd be a little bit dark, but let me see, like when I put my finger in there, it's like bouncy and I don't get as much product on there. So I mean, it's good because you don't pick up too much excess product. It's just a little bit different to work with. So I will pick up a little bit more on my finger. This one is a little bit more brown chocolatey toned compared to Oyster Pearl. That is the Auric Defiance. They aren't the same. I would say um, Charlotte Tilbury has more metallic reflect and Defiance is just a little bit more of a true brown color. Um, I'm wearing it today with the topper shade on top of it, but my favorite way to apply the cream is to actually use the Rare Beauty eyeshadow brush. It's like a stiffer, but still has a lot of flexibility and it's a very unique shape where it's very flat and you could just pick up the perfect amount and swipe it on the lid. This brush I use with my Art Cream shadows every time and I really like them. Sometimes with the shade Temper, I'll use my finger, but I find that using the brush with these shadows makes them a little bit easier to blend out so they don't get patchier because if you try and build it up it can sometimes get a little bit more patchy but that's just because the formula doesn't pick up much in the beginning so I would pick up a little bit more than you think and go ahead and blend it out. Um, I do really like this one. I mean you can see that I've used it. I love the packaging. Both of the Charlotte Tilbury and the Auric are glass packaging and I absolutely adore these. These are my favorite type of eyeshadows to work with for an everyday basis. And the Auric one actually has a glitter topper, which I do really like. I always use the glitter topper because I just can't resist using it. The one on Defiance is a gold glitter topper. That's what it looks like when you just do a light swatch. And when you just do a little bit, it's almost like a scattered glitter type of shade. It's right there which I think is really flattering because it's not too over the top, but it's like a very mature sparkle and it's not gonna make your eyes look textured. It's translucent, so you can really apply it on a lot of different shades. This one has a little bit of the gold reflect. Ignore these, I don't know what that is, but it just is very pretty. It makes the eyes look wet. I'm wearing it today and it's just more of a scattered glitter rather than like a very compact glitter. I don't know how to explain it, but it is very pretty. I love the shade Defiance. I think the cream on Defiance is a little bit harder to work with compared to Temper, but now that I've started using the Rare Beauty eyeshadow brush, I really have no problems. I mean, I used it today, and I think when you blend it out, it's a little bit more cool toned than you would expect, but that glitter topper on top is so pretty, and I really enjoy these. The other shades that I have, well, I have all three, but this one is Temper. This one is my favorite of the bunch, of course. It is more of a true taupey rose gold shade. So it is right there. You can tell that the Charlotte Tilbury one is definitely like more pink and the Auric is a little bit more taupe. I think that makes it a little bit more of a flattering shade. You can see it right there. It's a very, very beautiful shade. It's like a vintage rose color and I really, really like it. It's probably my favorite duo, although the glitter on this one is my least favorite. I don't think it's very good. And I don't know what it is that made it not good because it's almost like it's dried out and it's like getting hard pan. I still do like it and use it, but I have to really dig my finger in there to get a lot more product because it just doesn't pick up as much product and it almost gets like hard pan in there. I still like it and I think you should know that going into it that you're paying a lot of money, but if you just go in there a few more times, 
you can get still a really pretty color. It has a little bit more base pigment to it, so it is more pinky, and I think it'd be really pretty on its own. But like I said, if I use one of these duos, I have to use both. I can't just use one. Um, but to temper is very pretty. I can use a brush. I can use my finger. I do, for all of these, like to apply something in the crease first and then go on with the cream. But temper is very, very pretty. And just know that going into it that there is a little bit of a learning curve with cream eyeshadows in general. And if you don't want the fuss of a cream eyeshadow, I would go with the Charlotte Tilbury. But... I still think the Auric is a really beautiful formula. And then Ego is one that I don't use as much, but I'm actually surprised that I really like this one. This one is like a gray, but I find it has a lot of green to it. It makes my eyes look so green when I wear this one. And I mean, I have green eyes, so of course they look green, but um, this one I like very sheer. And I've seen a lot of people also use just the glitter toppers. So this one is Ego. I find this one as a duo is pretty easy to work with. When I first used it, the cream got a little bit patchy, but that's just because I wasn't used to using it. Um, and I just like to apply a little bit more than I would think I would need and then blend it out. So that is Ego right there. It's a very pretty and unique shadow. And I find like I haven't found any color like that from any other brand. And then the topper is another gray. And it's not just a straight silver. It is more of like that greeny gray. And again, it can be pretty sheer right there. I've seen a ton of people wear this just on its own for like light makeup. That is what it looks like right there. So the glitters are absolutely beautiful. I think it's a beautiful formulation. I just think something went wrong with temper. And the creams are very, very nice as well. It's just different from the Charlotte Tilbury one. The Charlotte Tilbury ones are a little bit more creamy and a whipped mousse. And the Charlotte or the Auric ones more like a jelly consistency and I still love them. Like these are my top favorite single eyeshadows because I just love cream eyeshadows so much. I'm resisting trying some new ones because one thing about me is I don't really like liquid cream eyeshadows. I like something where I can stick my finger into a pot and apply it, which is why I haven't gotten the Smashbox ones. But those five are like my favorite cream eyeshadows. I wouldn't get rid of any of them. Even though some of the shades are so similar, they're different in my mind and I love them so much. Next, I'll talk about my other favorite ones for like my natural makeup days. And these are a pretty penny. And I would not recommend them at the full price. And even on a discount, you have to really, really want these. And they're the Shantikai Luminescent Eye Shades. I have three. Kyla sent me one. And then the other two I got from Nordstrom because there was an issue with my order. And I just, instead of a refund, I got these. So... The two that I originally had, the first one is Cheetah. This one is probably my number one shade. It is so hard to describe this formula. It is like a jelly formula. So it's like a, not jelly like the Orc ones, but like a baked jelly formula. It's just, it's right here. On the lids, it's so hard to describe the sparkle that this has. It has so many micro sparkles in it is the only way I can describe it that when it is in low light or in the sun it looks so gorgeous and it's not over the top I find this shade just all over the lid for every day is beautiful and would I recommend paying like the 50 60 dollars for this no but they're just so I can't get rid of these and I do want one of the ones from holiday called zebra it's like a pinky tone oh my gosh it, it's so pretty and this formula while you can replicate the tone of it from palettes it's it's just unreplicable how good this formula is and it just has so many different sparkles and subtle tones in the sparkles and this one's just a warm champagne color which i i do think is really flattering but just something about it on the lids is so pretty the one kyla sent me is in lion and i haven't used this one on the eyes yet but i think this one will be my second favorite it is a very pretty color actually i wouldn't have thought to get this one but it's like a bronze color, but it's not too deep or orangey. It's a very flattering bronze color. I'm not good at swatching. But the sparkles in these shades are, there are so many different sparkles to it that it makes it look so dimensional. I don't know how to describe it at all. I think I have a video on Instagram swatching this in the sun and moving it around. There's also just a luminosity to it that catches the light. And it's just so pretty. They, they're they not worth 
$60, but they're also just so gorgeous. And then the last one is Giraffe. I got this one because Mariah Leonard did a one shade look with this and it's very pretty. They also have like the prettiest embossing. This one is almost like similar to Auric Defiance, but in a powder shade. And again, this one, you can really tell how many different colors of sparkle are in it. You can't tell on camera, but there's like a ton of not rainbow, but like greens and reds and just so many little colors that you won't be able to notice like it's a colorful shadow on your lid, but it'll make it look so dimensional and it makes your eyes look gorgeous. And I love these. If you want a mature eyeshadow type of look where it's just, it's not too in your face, but it's just beautiful when you're in the sun, like model makeup, these, these are so pretty. I just love them so much. My friend Kristen Talks Beauty, something like that on Instagram, she has swatches of these. She has, I think, all of these shades, maybe one more. If you want something impactful, don't get these, but I'm a sucker for those type of shades. Next, I'll talk about... Actually, I'm going to wipe this off since all of the other shades aren't, like, dupes or anything for this, and then I'll talk about the rest of my singles. Okay, so the next one is Victoria Beckham. Their Lid Luster and Honey, this formula is so pretty i will say it's a little bit messy in the pan in the pot but this is so pretty i like this also really sheer like just taking like the smallest bit and just blending it out to have like the most subtle thing ever i'm gonna have sparkles all over my arm but this one is also can be really impactful and it's not like a yellowy type of shade it's like a antique honey bronze type of shade see the base is like that antique brown color and then it flips to like an antique gold it's very very pretty on the eyes a very good formula of single eyeshadows i think this is a like one of my favorite just like sparkly shimmer eyeshadows it's still wearable for every day but it definitely has a little bit of an impact and i really like this shade i don't know if i'd pick up any other shades i really want the shade t rose but as of now most of the colors are a little bit too dark for me but this is a really stunning formula it's another glass packaging and very pretty lid and this was in my 2020 favorites and you can just see how light catching that shade is by the way if you want to see any of these and get ready with me just let me know down below because i'd be happy to show them the next one is from Hourglass, which I don't support the brand, but man, this shade. This is my one like glittery, like if I'm going to like a party or a club not in COVID, this is what I'm wearing on my lids. State of Kate has a video coming of her single like one and done eyeshadows and I'm pretty sure she duped this. She also has a ton of very similar shades from better brands. This color, they don't describe it, but it's like, it's a very unique color. It has like a bronze base with like a silver reflect almost you can see all of that glitter in here the, the hourglass scattered lights and i had one other shade that was a little bit less impactful from this that i ended up decluttering but this one makes the eyes look wet and sparkly and just <laughs> so good you can just tell in comparison this one has all of that glitter but it's still not like a compact glitter it's still a mature sparkle type of shade which is my favorite and I think this would look good on literally anyone. This is a beautiful shade. You can just look at that. It's so pretty. Um, the formula is just like a pretty standard potted cream eyeshadow. It's a little bit more creamy than the Victoria Becca one, but like both are just a single potted cream eyeshadow, not cream, single potted eyeshadow. And that's how it looks. You can you can just see how much that catches the light even in low lighting. Next are the Kaja stacks. I think this probably looks pretty similar on the eyes. I have this stack in rose water. And this one is another very impactful color or formula. But it's a little bit more flaky. Like when you apply it to the lids, it gets kind of messy. Still very pretty and very impactful. But you can see that the hourglass one is more like a base with sparkle on top and this one is just more of a straight sparkle color i turned on the lights a little bit so you can hopefully see that better but you can just see that the hourglass one has a bunch of different scattered sparkles that catch the light a little bit more so that's the top kaja shade which is just like a standard pinky shimmer this one is more like a neutrally a little bit cool toned pink color with like a bluish purple 
shimmer running through it almost. Not really. I, I don't know. I don't know how to describe colors very well. But it's a very pretty formula. The third shade I don't really use. It's just darker and I find not as good of a formula. It's still very pretty. It's just not as impactful. I mean, you can see it there. It's more just like I would put this all over the lid for like a smoky eye and it has a little bit of something, but I would not put this like, I wouldn't call it like a topper shade. Next are my ColourPop Super Shock Shadows. These are really great if you haven't tried these before. It's like a jelly, not jelly, but it's like a cream consistency in the pan. It's very, very unique feeling. And if you haven't tried these, I'd highly recommend picking one up to try this one. They're actually both from Robbie DeCute's Christie Collab, which you can't get anymore, but this one is Mycelium. I raved about this one a ton, but it's a little bit more like of a sheer base and kind of a go with everything kind of shade. It's a, like a warm champagne with a ton of different sparkles in it. This is what the Super Shocks look like. You can see I have almost pan. The other one I have is Like a Moss, which is not as impactful, but I do really enjoy the color of this one. It's a greeny, yellowy color. This formula is just so, oh, I got pan. Look at that. Granted, it does just all move around, but yeah, there isn't a ton of product in there, but these are so cheap and also will last quite a while. Oh, I swatched that a little close, but it's like a yellowy green, a little bit less impactful, but still a really pretty, unique shade. You can't get these anymore, so I'm not gonna spend a ton of time talking about them, but also exciting that I have a little bit of pan in there. Still have a long way to go before I ever use that up. But I love the shade. I really need to pull for it more because it's very pretty and it's not too out there with color. My last single technically is the Kaleidos. Well, this isn't even a single. It's the Kaleidos Space Age Highlighter in Skywalker. This is from my friend Kyla. Kyla Fish, you guys know her. And it's actually a highlighter, but I got this or I asked for this to use on the eyes. And oh, look at that in the artificial lighting. It's like a white eyeshadow but with a ton of blue reflect or glitter like this is a pretty like I would not use this on the face unless you're going for like an out there look but look at that it's like a bluish purple sparkle when you even look at it in certain lighting it almost looks fluorescent it's like a I don't know I think this is just a blue glittery highlight but it's so pretty for the eyes again I wouldn't wear that on the face unless I'm going for like an alien makeup look but it is very pretty on the eyes, especially in like artificial lighting. It looks very blue and out there. And then the last three things that I want to talk about, I don't really want to swatch them all, but I throw them in there because I consider them my single eyeshadows or my Rowan palettes. The 52 degree is from Kyla, but 75 degree I bought myself. And I use, oh, I use these as single eyeshadows with a match in the crease. And they are very pretty. It's a very unique formula. You almost have to dig very hard in the pan and then apply them on the lids because they are like a cream. I'll swatch one, but you kind of have to press in there pretty hard. It has a bit of base color to it with like a pearlescent, I forget what they call it. It's not glitter, but it's some sort of reflect. It's not as impactful as like these ones up here, but it just looks very pretty, especially for like a summery eyeshadow look. These ones do crease, but you kind of have to know that going into it. If you like creamy, like, cool girl eyeshadow, I think you'd really like these ones. And then the 52 degree is the same way. This top shade in both palettes is, like, a chunky shade. I wouldn't wear it on its own, but, like, tapped on top of these other shades, it adds a very unique look. But this purple is one that I'm very excited to wear. They're not as, like, impactful. They're more like a base color with a ton of pearls. I don't know what they call them. It's not glitter, but it's something else. But... These are very pretty and I thought I would throw them in there that I do really enjoy those for one and done eyeshadows, but that is everything. I'm not the best at describing colors or formulas, but I hope at least talking about my collection gave you guys a better idea of what I like, what I, I mean, not really what I don't like, just what I like, but I really do love these. I love my creamy eyeshadows, creamy potted eyeshadows are my jam and then anything in a pot with a ton of glitter. I do really like and those are all of my single eyeshadows i hope this video was helpful in some way i know the swatch lighting isn't the best but almost all of these except for the rowan 52 degree are swatched on my instagram and i also have a video up using one of the auric shades and if you just follow me on instagram i post a ton and i'll tell you what eyeshadow i'm wearing and like half of the time it's going to be 
a cream eyeshadow so i hope this video was helpful for you guys let me know what collection video you'd like to see next and i will see you in my next video bye